All right, everyone, it's time we get to review the special overdrive starter set now. Got the final present for my birthday, and I have other ones too, but don't. This is the main feature one. So, we got here is Prominent Phoenix, Dangerous Belial, and Xavier Perseus. With the good newer launcher that is advertised right here, Eleanor Power Launcher. With the clear power gear, by the way. We get a boost stopper and the new All Might driver. I huh, wonder why they named it All Might. Due to My Hero Academia? I think so. But who knows? Speaking of My Hero, the movie was excellent. Watched it twice. One in 40X and one normal in the theater wise. 40X is definitely worth it for My Hero Academia if you're trying to watch it in dub or sub, depending. Here we got the gimmicks for this one. We got the new uh, Belly L2. We got the new Dangerous Wheel. Two of them are not important, but All Might is most importantly a good one. And you could access the armors for all of your equipment with the previous one. If you launch hard, it will stop in its place and shrink the tip down and if it's normal sp spinning, it will go free rotation plus the flat driver activates still. It's still there, it won't be activated for that. And it has a boost stopper, if I haven't mentioned it before. Here we got a Prominence Phoenix, main feature. We got the newer... We got the parts here, as you can see, we got its heavy mode and light mode when it comes to its armor. One in left rotation is harder and the other one is easier to knock off, so that's that. And we got Perseus finally, without the gotcha thing. Let's get on to the main feature itself. Here is main features of this whole entire set. Let me lower it down. And here we are. We finally got it, finally. So, Savior first. Savior's not important, but it is a good attack wheel. Just don't have it paired up with shot. Shot is not a good driver. That being said, we got Giga, we have three armor, and we got the bearing Prime. Qu I'm saying quote unquote, but Prime. It has an orange cap, but it's the sturdier version of bearing. It can still burst. Back in the day, the bearing driver with this one, not that one, but I have another bearing driver. Where they purposely weaken the spring so it makes it useless for customizations of any kind because they feared that they're gonna overpower this driver, which it still is. Hasbro got it right, they stiffened it. It's pretty much the same way that Hasbro done their bearing driver when it comes down to this. It's sturdy, it's good. Perseus, the chip of it, the core of it has metal on it. So it's another one that has metal on it. Now like I said, let's put it, assemble it. Alright, there we go, that's that. Finally got Prominence Phoenix, finally. The new evolution. To Phoenix, to revive and dead. So here we got. Uh, here we got. Here's the perfect Phoenix. With its normal, I'm gonna take it off for normal. See, take off the ring. Let's compare this thing, shall we? This is so much better than the original, although the original has metal on it. That's the good thing. 
It's way bulkier. Why your metal driver for this Beyblade? I'll never know. Metal Universe. Why? No, thank you. It is good. It's a good defense driver, but I'm not going to tolerate metal drivers. Get rid of them. Taper for Vanish Fafnir. At least another person has tapered in it. Ooh, a four star. We got it's no. This is its normal mode for its armor. All you do is twist it. Uh, come on, twist off. There we go. But look how thin this thing is. It's not going to support that much at all. You So you might as well buy another one. I know it's risky of buying it because of how priced it is. But have another one. Because who knows what ha may happen to your this thing in the future it's gonna break we got the 10 armor the first one was Bahamut and now Phoenix and we haven't seen this gut phenomenal pain yet the owner for prominence Phoenix we don't see him yet he's not in the show yet what happened all right we got to see its other mode it's strong armor mode you put the armor on this side. There we go. So you see blue. I'm not going to do the high mode of this thing. It, it doesn't go well. So if, if I'm having these reviews when it comes to high mode, I won't do them. Solely because of uh, they unstabilize. And I don't like the idea of it loosening or up or lose stamina due to its height. Speaking of a, uh, I don't know why I I bought this up due to Phoenix. There's no official single box unless ha I think Hasbro's gonna single this guy out out of this. So is Dynamite or Dangerous to his own. I think so. By the way, I had the sign from AX 2019. It's pretty much a good thing to have things signed for the dub version of it because I fell in love with the dub version of this. So much easy to access to as well. It's on YouTube. It's good for convenience wise. Alright. Dynamite Bellia. Not Dynamite. Who, ca who cares about the original Dynamite? This is so much better in design. First of all, we got Dynamite. We got Devil, which doesn't appear, it's just a promo. And we got Dangerous, a mixture of the two. We got the red, although it's, the red on here is weak because it's just flat out red stickers on each one. And the red rubber. And the two armors were cycled. Don't know why, but. All Might's a good driver. Let's see it in action with this launcher, power launcher. It's slightly longer than the other launchers that are in this set. Out of all these. But it has bearings in it, which makes it a lot stronger. I say that's a nice touch. A super nice touch when it comes down to it, so. I think I'm gonna have to make another video when it comes down to it having combined it. So let's try this out. Problem is, it's going to run out of the stadium easy. And it didn't activate the starter. Or basically the stopper, so let's move on to the next. Save your Perseus. Take a look at it while it spins. Because you can't miss it. You know, but when putting on the armor, it is super hard. Yeah, well you need to connect the armor with this metal part now. So, there's that. Let's 
launch this guy now. Phoenix. I'm only going to use the driver for metal driver for the review only, not for throughout the whole entire usage of it. So let's get on to putting the, this guy. But I have to have this guy in high mode. That's the exception with Belial. Belial, you need to have exceptions. It's going to wheel down. Over time, it's going to, it's going to knock itself out. It's going to, Uh, it's loosening up. Sorry for the long pause. I had a th think thought about something while putting this together. Just putting it together is pretty complicated, but it's good. It's good. With this, speaking of this, it has a spring in it. Very efficient. So you can combine this guy. Here we go. Here we got all, all gears attached. L gear, F gear, S gear, and V gear. Well, further ado, let's test out. Hmm, who's the victim? How about this? We're gonna launch with this. <laughs> you let this thing win try that again I know it's kind of unfair for this guy, but here's the, this is how it's flat mode. If you want to reset this thing, you need to have a launcher like this, a cord like this, then we set it that way. Let's do a Phoenix now. Let's do it with Chosy Valk Achilles. Just for good, for good old times. Both series are good, good buys, but it has its downsides for down for all of them. Alright, let's do this last one for this one and Phoenix. Let's go. Alright, I know this ain't fair. Alright, no bullying. We're well, gonna do a point two or whatever, but I don't gonna have to say with the Valkyrie and all that stuff, all the jazz. Should you buy the set? Yes, absolutely. It's pricey, but it's worth it to get these bays here. You get Savior, you get Prominence Phoenix, and you get Dynamite or Dangerous. So that's it. See ya.